Welcome back to Switch to Linux. Well, we are going to do a little tutorial here on Cinnamon 4 and show you how you can set up Cinnamon 4 to mirror the effective way that Windows-based systems have been running for a long time. And why would one want to do this? Well, if you're like me and you open up tons and tons of different application windows, then you want a list of everything that's open on the bottom of the panel. You want to be able to click the icon every time for each new instance you would like open, and you want to be able to see what is organized on the bottom. I personally, and I realize there's people that like this new modern UI, and if your only constructive comment is, oh, but it's modern UI, get with the times, you don't have to watch this video. This is for people that actually like a productive system where you can see what is open, you can see what is closed, and you can launch a new application without finagling weird things with your mouse. Um, or doing whatever other other things. Now, of course, uh, when Cinnamon 4 came out, they went with a modern look, and I understand that there are certain people that like this. It is clean, it is minimal, but again, minimalization for the cause of minimalization where we have just a few icons over here and a little bit of information over here and a whole ton of empty space in the middle, that's failure to use your available resources. So we're going to teach you how to do that today. Now, of course, if you are on Linux Mint 19.1 or later, probably, uh, then you will have the option on your Mint welcome screen to go back to the old style menu, which brings in the old style icons. And it can look a little dated if you want it to keep kind of the modern look looking flow without having to sacrifice that. Of course, on systems like this, and right here we are uh, actually on Arch, and so I don't have a Linux Mint welcome screen, how might you set up your Cinnamon to have that? So this is what this tutorial is going to do. So we are on Cinnamon version 4.0.7. We are doing this on Arch right now. This is actually Arch Labs. Uh, this is Arch Labs 20, uh, 2018.12.17. So what we're going to do is, the I want to come down here to the bottom, and what we're going to do is, first thing we're going to do is add an applet to the panel. And what we're going to do is we are going to look for the launcher, which is still in here. So you'll see panel launchers. So highlight your panel launchers and click your plus button, and then that adds our panel launchers. You can see it actually added it over here. So I'm done with this screen, so I'm going to right click the panel and turn on panel edit mode. This will allow me to drag and drop things around. Now, of course, on a Windows based system, which is how we're setting this up like, I like the show desktop to be way over here on the other side so that I can just throw the mouse to the bottom corner, click it, and every window minimizes. Now I'm going to grab my new launcher, so I'm going to drag these guys over here. Okay, so now we're going to turn off our panel edit mode. So now it looks like what we have is we have two different pins. Well, it's actually not two different pins. I think the first one right now should be our full pin. So you can see if I do that, it just drops it down to the bottom. This one over here is the launcher. So every time I click this, it's going to give us a new instance. Hey, hey look at that, the functionality that we actually wanted. All right, so now I want to get rid of these pins and to do this, what we're going to do is I want to right click and we are going to go under our preferences and we are going to go under our configure. I think that's the one. Yes. All right. So this is what we're going to get to. So what I'm going to do is the first thing I want to do is I'm going to ungroup application. Let me actually pull up a second instance. So you can see we have the little number down here. Um, that's what I don't like. So I'm going to turn off the um, group windows by application. And then we are going to turn off, uh, actually that's turning on system favorites. Um, I have to figure out which one I was going to go with. Okay, so panel over here, show current window count, we're going to turn that off. Button label, we're going to do the application name, okay. And then space between the icons, of course you can increase or decrease this, whatever, um, however you want it to be. Um, I like a little bit of space. I don't think I want a full six, but I think two pixels is probably good for me. I like that. And then show pinned applications. We're going to turn that one off. So that's going to turn off our pins. So if you notice uh, this guy right here, watch this guy right here. Turn off your show pinned applications. That goes away. 
So then that's going to give us that. Now, of course, your thumbnails, your default gives you these thumbnails. I absolutely hate these stupid things. I'll be moving the mouse down here to the bottom. I'll get a little too close and some window's gonna jump up right in the place where I'm trying to work. I hate those stupid things. If you love them, great, turn them on. I hate them, I'm gonna turn them off. Now, we just get the little grouped window list. It's not quite as bad. Um, so, we might even be able to change that. They, there is big, medium, large, small, things like that. So you can do that. And then there's context menu, show recent items, uh, auto start, new window option, and apply. That should be all we need to do at this point. So now what we are left with is launch this guy up. Now we have a window for every instance that exists. These guys are now functioning as launchers. And let's see if there's actually anything else. If you ever need to edit again, um, you won't be able to do it from the pin. Just launch an instance, come down here, preferences, configure is going to bring this up. I want to see if I can make this just a little bit larger. I'm not sure if I can. I haven't uh, looked at that part yet, but uh, there's launcher animation. Uh, you can do whatever you want to do for that. Like I said, I'm just seeing if I can increase the size of that panel or not. I'm not sure I can, at least not right here. Okay, there's a middle click action. If you do want to launch a new instance on the middle click, just on the panels, if you want to keep them there but have a new instance, you can do that. Uh, so that is just about it. So that is, uh, let's see if there's anything else. We have a window, there's application, window title. We can do window titles too. Actually, window titles a little bit better. That does get us a little bit more there. And window titles actually, will, what this is going to do is if we are on, for example, a website here, this is going to tell us what it is rather than just uh, have a basic information there. So now we have this guy set up just like before, but we are keeping the modern look and the modern feel. Of course, how do you add something to that? Well, I want to come down down here, right click, add the panel, and that should actually add it to the panel, hopefully. Eh, maybe not. You need to drag them down. <laughs> I think adding to the panel used to add it to the launcher. Now it adds it as a, as a pin, pin to the panel. So uh, just grab it from the menu and just drag it on down. Of course, you can do the same thing over here if you want to put something over here. So you can just drag them around where you want them to be. So now we have a system set up just like before, but we are keeping the modern user interface and we're not relying on that Mint menu. And frankly, this does look better than it did on the Linux Mint Cinnamon where you'd go in there and you would just say, hey, use the old style. It shrunk down the panel, gave you some uglier icons. This does, in my uh, full opinion, look a little bit nicer, but now it restores that exact functionality that I want inside my, my Cinnamon desktop. So thanks for watching and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux. I hope you've enjoyed this video from Switched to Linux. If you'd like to help support the channel, check out the links at the top. There is another video over here. You can check out our Patreon page down here, and you can check out shop.switchtolinux.com for information on a t-shirt like this or some other designs. Thanks for watching, and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.